And joining us now to discuss, Texas Congressman and member of the House Small Business Committee, Representative Roger Williams. Congressman, thank you for joining us. A lot of Kamala Harris's agenda remains vague. Uh, only just yesterday, she finally put up a page of some policies on her website. But as Bob has pointed out, based on what we have seen thus far, she goes back and forth a lot. But if we look at what's happened in the past three years when she actually has had some level of power, the economy has become a disaster. Would it get worse under a President Harris? Well, absolutely it would get worse. I mean, the fact of the matter, just start with raising taxes. Uh, she's going to put tax, more taxes on Main Street, more taxes on everybody. Look at regulations. Since uh, 2020, we've had uh, $1.73 trillion of regulations put on Main Street America, 220 million man hours to comply with that. Uh, you look at the economy from inflation. You even look at interest rates. I mean, this is a disaster. Now, and, and the problem is she doesn't have any experience in managing a business. She has no experience in employing people, no experience in meeting uh, payrolls or anything. And that's what you got. So she's just all about notes. Her economy is all about notes. Whereas President Trump has lived it all his life. We know what his track record is. You cut taxes. You, you, you create uh, security along the border. You cut down inflation. You create competition. Now you have an economy. Congressman, obviously you're on the House Small Business Committee. President Trump just put out an ad uh, talking about his plans to cut back regulation, which I know is so tough for small business to comply by uh, and to compete against bigger business, big box stores. They got so many more resources than them. I'm going to bring it up. I will create a government efficiency commission. And Elon, because he's not very busy, has agreed to head that task force. As the first order of business, this commission will develop an action plan to totally eliminate fraud and improper payments within six months. We will eliminate a minimum of 10 old regulations for every one new regulation. So the second half of that, Congressman, eliminate 10 regulations for one new one. That could be uh, you want to talk about changing things and, and having a different future? That, to me, sounds like it. No, I mean, look, if you just take regulations alone, remove the regulations from Main Street America. Look, the greatest asset America has is not America, it's Americans. It's working people. It's Main Street. All of our business has 75% of our payroll, 75% of our workforce. You reduce those regulations, you create competition. Who benefits from competition? The consumer. It will drive prices down. It can be even actually even bring inflation down by just competing. So he's on the right track. I can tell you as being in business 52 years, let me compete against my competitor. I don't want to compete against the federal government. But that's the difference between socialism, entrepreneurship, and capitalism. Congressman, we're almost out of time, but I can see you're obviously in Washington, D.C., on Capitol Hill. What will you be doing during the debate tonight? Do congressmen get together? Do they watch? <laughs> what happens behind the scenes? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go home and uh, cook some popcorn, and I'm going to watch this debate. Because uh, i got some radio shows and TV shows to do back home tomorrow and talk about uh, how it went uh, tonight. But I'm going to watch it. I'm going to make notes because let me tell you, this truly is the most important election of our lifetime. We've got to get it right. Less government's the best government. Turning the, turning the private sector back over to the private sector and small business owners is the way to do it. Secure the border, create a military, be strong overseas, and we got America back leading. I hope we do. All right, Congressman Roger Williams, enjoy that popcorn, and thank you. Thank you.